my name is Alicia. I'm a verification and audit officer and I started using Elementor and I then switched to Divi. For more reviews, click below. So I use both Elementor and Divi to create a website, personal website for my Latin dance world business. Um, and I needed a page builder so that um, I was just starting and it was really important that I had something that could work well with all the themes that I was using. And I needed it to uh, assist with my marketing and with the, um, my, the branding of my business. So Divi was fantastic because they had unbelievable support. So the page builder, I used the page builder and the theme for Divi to create my website. Um, it did have some more technical challenges. However, the uh, on-site support and the online support helped me create my whole website in under three to six months. Um, so although it had more technical skills for me, I actually created a much better and more efficient website than I had done previously with Elementor. Um, Divi had a lot of layouts and templates that I found really easy to use and it allowed me also to save and copy a lot of the modules and elements from their own layouts without me having to go and create new elements and modules myself. Um, and I also found that it killed two birds with one stone. I was looking for a lot of themes that would work well with both of the page builders. And the Divi theme was complete and it was easy to use with the, the theme builder as well. So Elementor is best used for individuals who require a more user-friendly page builder. It's quite easy to move modules and elements around. It's also um, a lot faster than the Divi page builder. So I found that it was more useful for the websites that I had a lot more traffic on. It also um, was a lot easier to use the layouts that they had um, with the Elementor system. I did find it more um, plain than the Divi layouts. However, it really worked well with any theme that I tried, um, which made it easy because I, at the time I was trying multiple different themes that I had purchased. So when I started with Elementor, it was really easy to uh, upload the page builder and begin using it right away. I didn't have to go through a lot of instructions or uh, training to understand how to use it. I plugged and played and it was pretty easy to make uh, the website that I had with Elementor. Um, getting started with Divi was a lot more challenging, it had a lot of technical skill involved and it did require me to look into a lot of instructions on how to set things up. I found that the modules would sometimes get stuck. Um, so I often was uh, requesting support from Divi. Um, with Elementor, it was very easy to move columns around as well. And they also had a, a pop-up builder that was already installed and I needed that for my website. So that was really easy. Um, but with Divi, I had to figure out how to install the Bloom app to get the pop-up builders working. And I also had a hard time adjusting the columns and the, the sections within the Divi page builder. Um, it required a lot more skill to, to learn initially when I started. So for me, when I'm looking at different software options, um, specifically in regards to Divi and Elementor, I was looking at ease of use, so which one was easier for me to learn um, as a new beginner to making uh, my own website. And I also was looking at the cost, which was more affordable. Um, for me, I had a single use website, so um, Divi actually was more expensive for the single use website compared to Elementor. Um, and I also look at the features that are, op uh, that are offered in each product that I'm looking at. So I did compare the different features with Elementor and Divi to determine which one would be more beneficial for what I was trying to achieve with my website. 